Hey, what's up guys? Rev here. Today we're going to talk about how a Japanese video game recently sparked a major debate on social media about translations and localizations. Now, did this game pick a side to cause such an uproar? No, it did the exact opposite in fact, and offered Western players two options to select from to reach their preferred translation style. The first option, a raw and more literal translation for Western players, or the second option, a localized version that takes more liberties with the translations, tweaking them as they felt necessary. Now, sub versus dub has always been quite the debate, but that often involves a person's individual preference, at least when comparing faithful dubs to its source material. But the more recent parallel to this, the raw translation versus localization debate, is a lot more complicated. Translation at its core is a sort of art, there is a reason people get paid to do it, Obviously, a great deal of proper translating involves nuance, finding the closest fit because some things are unique to a language or culture. Relating to anime and manga, there are just some things that don't translate well from Japanese to English. So understandably, fans paying companies and streaming services to provide translated content from Japanese to English expect that they're going to receive faithful translations that respect the intent and message of the original source material. And as I'm sure you're already aware, companies like Funimation and Crunchyroll have proven time and time again they are willing to break the viewer's trust and provide localizations that go way beyond mere tweaking and instead inappropriately change the entire message of a scene, often by inserting completely unnecessary Western political messages or shoehorning memes into their dubs and localizations. And at this point, I've got these screenshots on me like the iron on my hip, but they just show how ridiculous these companies can get. And when it comes to this debate, raw translations versus localizations, people are pretty divided. And looking at screenshots like we just saw, I think it's pretty reasonable for people to not trust companies to handle localizations and prefer more literal ones over them. But today, we have a middle ground that somehow still managed to divide people. The recently released game River City Girl Zero offers two types of translations for players, literal translations or localized translations. And instead of being celebrated by both sides as a unique tool to respect both preferences, it sparked an ugly debate on social media. Responding to a now deleted tweet pointing out this feature, a professional localizer who translates Japanese content to English weighed in on the topic and said this, This is not how you show faith in your translator's ability to do right by a game's script, whatever approach they take. It would be one thing to do this as a novelty and a fan patch, but it's a terrible can of worms and a paid product when distrust of our work is still rampant. The main crux of this tweet is having both options is somehow disrespectful to localizers, showing a lack of faith in them and their credibility. The irony of course being, localizers are the ones who have broken the trust of consumers by providing shoddy and unfaithful translations, especially in the past few years. I mean, you're angry that there is a raw and more faithful option available to players. And yes, they have every right to not trust localizations. Seeing Reddit level memes and unrelated political commentary routinely shoved into localizations is a valid reason to be distrusting. And not to be technical here, but the localization of this game is made by the same team behind the translations, the raw translations that is. So the whole trust thing is kind of irrelevant since they're being trusted with both types of translations. And for the record, the localization of this game, from what I've seen, includes rewording of curse words or insults directed at characters, hardly noticeable in the first place. But this localizer was not the only one upset, there was hundreds of people joining in on the hysteria, some going as far as saying providing such an option is caving to Nazis. Because yeah, providing two translation options is… Nazism. Dear God. But anyways, that's a summary of what's been going down, let me know your thoughts about localization in the comments section down below. Hope you all enjoyed, subscribe for more daily videos, and yeah. I'll see you guys next time.